Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have a 2017 Hyundai i30. It's a little commercial van. And what do we have? I'm gonna give you fall codes on what was happening to the customer. It's not gonna be a fantastic video, but just I didn't get anything recently. So our fall code is P069, manifold absolute pressure, barometric pressure correlation. So what it's speaking about is the correlation between what's in the atmosphere and boost pressure or unhappy about what's in the atmosphere and boost pressure okay so a bit of digging on this there was no real digging it's done it's fixed at this point in time hence it not being maybe a great video but if we wanted to go out of here just for verification for other lads we're escaping out of fall codes we're into live data and in live data then if you just wanted to have a look anyone that's going to have a look intake manifold absolute pressure is here I think I have barometric pressure somewhere, I thought. Yeah. Oh. Barometric pressure is there. The show selected. So, barometric pressure is what would normally be here. 103 kPa. Sorry, it's gone blurry. And then intake manifold pressure is 104 kPa. Right, so this thing never changes. Barometric pressure never changes purely because it's only measuring the atmospheric pressure. Unless we go high on a mountain or down the hole. This is going to stay roughly around 100 kPa. Uh, intake manifold pressure will change under load. We'll have more boost, less boost, blah, blah, blah. What was the problem with this thing anyway? This was the problem with it, okay? So we, we'll be talking about Mazda's building up uh, carbon in the intake manifolds. All cars that have EGR valves on them do this same thing. They build up the same quantity of stuff. So not very fancy, nothing very exciting. So it's actually this stuff that was built up inside in the intake manifold, but the nose or the very top of the boost pressure center was nearly blocked with carbon. And what I done is I actually got another intake manifold for it, but unfortunately, the other intake manifold was slightly different and I didn't have the hole for this. I actually thought the intake runners, the little flaps, were going to be broken on it. They do break on them fairly rel relatively regularly. So on this occasion, they weren't broken, so I have reinstated the old manifold again. Not so bad of a job. So what I'm going to find out is maybe on the change of this thing, so if anyone has to do this thing, or this kind of a job, I only put a voice clip on that. That jubile clip with nothing in it to loosen off, must be a shear bolt or something like that. Took that off, took off this thing, a little bit of plastic here, pull off the throttle body off the front, then I went along, there's one little size 10 just down here underneath that little grey control solenoid here. That little 10 volt comes out, little 10 volt hold the temperature, fuel temperature sensor here, that off. The fuel pipe then coming out here comes off and that little diesel pipe where I squeeze the two sides on it comes off. A couple of block connectors onto the inlet metering valve, the intake runner motor, temperature sensor, map sensor, a couple of these things out. These pipes run along here, I marked them and I pulled that up out of the way and then at that stage it's quite easy, there isn't one volt stuck in here on the side. All other bolts are in here, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or whatever it may be, 10. And that comes out relatively easy and relatively handy. We cleaned it up and took out the seals out of it. We power washed it and have it reinstated now again. Now, what I, the only reason that, I'm only doing it to record something, I suppose, but the only reason I was kind of interested is, on this thing, we have our little as there you go, it's a money light on. And you saw the fall codes that I had there a second ago. And just weirdly, not weirdly, but just strangely enough, if you think about a check engine light on, the bigger and better your scan tool, the more you'll see. This is in OBD, as you saw. If I escape out of that, escape out of that. Yes, we want to escape, escape, yes. And if I go into history, I've just been in in this car. So, 2017, hi Hyundai, go in there. Into diagnostics, my camera, when I'm looking at the screen, it's rolling up there, apologies. And if I go in looking for fall codes, what I just thought was kind of, again, funny enough, with the control unit, running the engine. If we get in and look for trouble codes, oh, we actually had it, okay. When I went in a moment ago, I didn't have it. That's why I was actually gonna show you that I didn't have it in here and I only had it in OBD, so maybe a car copped it. It's in history, so it is gone. We, um, I'm believing we have a fix here with nothing to worry about and it's very simple and short video, but that's the crud 
that was causing our problems here. Intake manifold removal, quite easy. It's simple enough. Maybe I'll show you a bit of live data of maybe boost pressure when we're driving just before I close this thing up for a little finalization. Okay, this thing is out on the road, being driven at this point in time. I'm kind of trying to create conditions. So what I'm trying to do is recreate this fog fairly fast. So I'm kind of in a high gear, full load, engine revs low. I have been under high RPM conditions trying to create or recreate the condition but the problem seems to be gone our carbon buildup was the cause of it mightn't be any good to anyone lads but look fingers crossed it might guide someone maybe in a direction of an under boost an over boost a whatever type condition I'll pull in here look and I'll, I'll uh, do a final talk I didn't actually bring the scan tool with me my battery was down at 1% so it's on charge back there uh, I don't really need to go look and I don't think it live data at this point in time once we drive this thing and recreate or can't recreate we are in theory kind of done so now I'm on fork gear full load up a hill I think we're done we're done and dusted okay guys just to close up this thing as I said I was doing a couple of miles on it. I didn't have a scan tool. Battery was going flat in it. And this morning I had to bring this car for a DOE. So anyway, after driving it in for the DOE, what I've done is I've just brought on the off chance a little silly little scan tool here. Um, and I've just been looking at barometric pressure, boost pressure, uh, EGR activation. Uh, I was looking at my actual differential pressure there a little bit high but in saying that this little scan tool just done the job for me i have no check engine light we are in theory fixed and finished cars ready to go back to the customer um i even got a bottle of whiskey for my christmas box um yeah i don't know for this one intake manifold boost pressure problem intake manifold blocked heavily with carbon good clean up and she's back together up and running um, yeah, that's kind of it. Why Why do I have this thing in hand? I had this thing in hand because some girl from this crowd actually contacted me one day and asked me would I do, if they sent it to me, would I do an overview on it? I said, if I don't like it, what am I going to be doing with it? Will I just send it back to you? And she said, look, if you don't like it, you don't like it. So I don't know. Anyway, I'll, I better do a one or two minute video on that just to, to show what it's like. I think they're about 189 quid, but look, I'll do all this crack in the other in the other video. It's only going to be a minute or two long, just to do what I said I'd do. Um, yeah, but that's it for this one, guys. Please like and subscribe. Hyundai can't even remember the file code. It was a day or so ago. Um, Hyundai boost pressure problem. Boost pressure map manifold absolute manifold absolute pressure barometric pressure correlation or something along those because high of a build-up of, of carbon inside the intake manifold. Anyway, guys, mightn't be a great video, but look, might help someone out if they get caught on this thing and uh, get it resolved. Please like, subscribe, and talk to you all next time. See you later, guys.